the race remains the same as the previous two Prodoa Eco Challenge, with the unique feature that the race held to determine the winner is not about speed, but distance and the re-engineered vehicle that can go the furthest wins. This year, ladies and gentlemen, the Development Fund or SEED Fund given to each institution of higher learning was increased to 17,500 from 10,000 previously due to the increased level of difficulty. A total of Ringgit Malaysia 77,000 in prizes is allocated for this year's race and the longest distance winner will be taking home a whopping Ringgit Malaysia 20,000. The team that tops the engineering and design categories will take home 15,000 and 5,000 respectively. Thank you, Mr. Walla. Thanks, uh, for again giving us the opportunity to take part in this uh, uh, competition. This is the third time in a row that we've been selected to take part in the uh, competition. We have a slightly different approach to Unibank because we think that the opportunity to actually be involved in a project like this doesn't come um, uh, many times to the student. So we try to make sure that many students will be involved. Although Produa uh, only gave uh, one uh, engine and transmissions, in Unitan we organize our own internal competitions this year. So we have a Produa Eco Challenge Unitan Challenge, uh, which uh, actually from January to May this year. Uh, we are in the second and a half. We took into consideration, you know, semester break and, and the rest. And that's the reason why, you know, it's normally between five to six months. So the final is going to be on the 25th of June. So roughly between five to six months. So, uh, Dr. Kenny, after listening to the progress of the universities, uh, what do you think of the efforts this year? I, I think on behalf of Porodua, I'm, I'm very impressed with uh, what they have come up with. In other words, you know, given uh, the opportunity, the beri peluang, kita punya undergraduate students, kita, locals, they, kita ada banyak talents. They've got a lot of talents. Yeah? So this is one of the platform that Porodua would like to provide. 
was completely previous year. The challenge this year is, is, is a lot more actually because now we have to uh, not just modify the existing car but also to build the car from, from scratch. And uh, as mentioned by all the other universities here also, uh, time is not on our side. We have, we have a very short time to work with. And, uh, uh, but uh, looking at uh, what the students have uh, come up with up to now, I think uh, all they need is just opportunity, giving them opportunity and giving them encouragement. They can deliver, actually. So, uh, so far, for example, here in Tang, uh, two car almost uh, ready, and next week uh, I will have our own internal uh, race in Tang. Then we, we can optimize the car in one month before the actual. Yeah, normally, uh, at UNICEF, students are given project work where they are encouraged to work with the team and produce design. This is called transmission to the rest for the cost project. But now we are really having a real life example where students can do design using the software they have learned and really coordinate with other colleagues to manufacture and fabricate equipment and as soon as they embrace proof their design. To me it's a very good challenge for the students. I just want to ask you a bit about that. This is the third year that you have done this competition. Uh, have you found any of the students that have took the part in the, in the competition to be I don't know, to be employed by you. Often, I, I, I don't have the information. I, I'm, I'm sure you know, students who are involved in such projects would be given you know, priority, lah, I suppose. I, I, I don't have the information. Ada. Kita ada ambil. Ada. Prof, can you uh, tell us a bit your unique approach in having two competing teams? Yeah. Uh, competing for the final proposal. Uh, Doesn't that uh, uh, spread the resources too thin and having to produce two cars where the others produce one car? Yeah. Uh, our philosophy is that we, we, we want to try to um, give the opportunity to be involved in this kind of project to as many students as possible. And actually, the, based on our previous experience on working with the students and all that, they just need the opportunity and encouragement actually. They have the the, the drive to do it and um, if they we give them the chance uh, we know that they can do it and they will spend uh, night and they spend uh, long hours to actually work on their project to make sure that they deliver it and at the end actually uh, these two teams will combine into one uh, so everybody has been involved right from the start so they have the team spirits and everything so at the end it's combining all of that so that they become one unit and team with the aim of producing the best car. So all of them have different ideas right from the start to the end and at the end they have to combine all of this to come up with the best design uh, for Unit 10 car. So when is the race going to be? Is it going to be held inside Unit 10? Yes, next week on the 25th of May. The benefit of Smoran Cakap is, yeah. is mostly about soft skills and all yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but really how does it translate into real world skills for, for these student engineers? Okay, now uh, you see that most of the students when they are in class, they normally learn the, the theory, mostly the theory, but when they join this kind of project, they will have this opportunity to really put into place what they have learned. That is the beauty of it. And at the same time, they only learn about the soft skill, how to manage a project, how to communicate and, and, and all that. This really brings benefit to the students. Does it? Um, uh, the tight, tight uh, timetable and schedule for this does it affect the students' uh, coursework? And well, uh, somehow some sacrifices have to be done, but then um, the 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 passion that the the students have shown is tremendous, and we are so lucky to have a team uh, of our staff like uh, Ramlan Kasiran who's really really passionate about this and he, he's uh, been working so hard to uh, really manage the students and help them out. So do you have uh, difficulty getting students taking part? Or is no, no, no. There's so many students who wanted to get involved in this. In fact, we have to really interview them. Right. Okay.